And the Bears are going to play it second down and long. Big Jeremy Eason. You see him checking into the ball game right there. Big down here for the Bears. They need to pick up some yardage here. Four down territory. Quick snap. Phillip Ray has got it. He throws it up for grab. Jeremy Eason is there. Incomplete. Good play by Phillip Ray there. Raphael Rawls on the coverage. Good play by Phillip to pick that ball up and not have a disaster there. And Bears will play it third down along. Two down territory, you would think, right here, Jesse. I would, and I tell you what, you said it. Phillip Ray gave this offense another opportunity to really try to have, like you said, two downs to get in a first down. Because if he gets caught and takes a sack and gets behind the line, you can pretty much throw all the scoring opportunities out on this drive. But very nice job by Phillip to pick the ball up, come get yourself collected and throw the ball away and give yourself a chance. You see the Bears in trips motion. They empty out the backfield. Phillip Ray. He's got Jeremy Eason down the middle. It is complete. Ball's fumbled in the end zone. Who's got it? The Bears have it. Touchdown, Catholic High. Dramel Adams on the hustle down in the end zone. The good throw, good catch. Was hit tough in the end zone, but Dramel Adams comes up with the ball for the Bears, and they strike first here in the first quarter. Well, Mickey, however you got to do it, you got to do it. But like you said, Jeremy Eason wide open. Phillip Ray doing a great job of finding him, making a nice throw. Eason took a good hit. Ball came up, but as you said, got to keep hustling. Jamel Adams has done it so many times this year, doing a good job of fighting over the ball and getting it. The sprint extra point. Luke Martin's got it up, and it is good. We'll take a break here. You're watching the Catholic High Football Network. The Bears lead it 7-0. Brand new 04 Chevys, priced like 03s. It's only at Brian Harris Chevy. Get in the saving zone for 04 Silverados, now just 15. Matt Newman has it teed up on the 40. Tracy Russell, Calvin Dawson, deep for the Vikings. The Bears not going to kick it deep either. Fair catch called for and made right at the 28-yard line. Taylor Blaine underneath the sky kick for the airline Vikings. On defense, the Bears tonight will have Jeffrey Lewis and Neil Bro the bookends, big Corey Williams and Calvin Matthews up front. Your linebackers are Alvarado and Wilkerson. Jeffrey Hastings is out on a corner, as is Jason Arbor, Philip Ray, your free safety, Jordan Cancian, your strong safety. Ball fumbled on the ground, but picked up. Jason Arbor and Phillip Ray are the last ones to try to get him. Jason Arbor's got a chance and does not get him. Touchdown, Viking. Travis Warren had a little mix up there on the play, and one break equals another one as the Bear offense gives up a big play on the first play from scrimmage. And the Vikings have pulled within an extra point of tying this ball game up. Tell you what, Mickey, that's an unbelievable situation. You got two fumbles that could, like you said, not be disastrous for either team, but both teams taking a, a possible setback to a tremendous uplifting on a seven-point tie ball game in the first quarter early on. And like we said, we can see the making of a barn burner so far. We'll be right, we'll be right back after this break. With over 75 years' experience, BRDP is... ...answer the Catholic High Bear touchdown with a touchdown of their own as the ball game is tied in the first quarter, 7 minutes, 24 seconds. Once again, a sky kick. Jordan Concian calls a fair catch. He's got it at the 24-yard line, and that's where the Bears will start the second possession of the game. The Boys. Bears offense didn't get a lot of chance to rest, Jesse. They got to come right back on the field and put another drive together. I guess it. I guess that's good for the possibilities of keeping your defense offense. And now is a good time, Mickey, for us to thank some of these sponsors. Share Vista for all your business and technology consulting needs. 
Been in business since 94, so they want to be your local trusted IT advisor. Call Skip Share, 293-1111. Share Vista been a big part of Catholic High football all year long as the Bears have Austin Worley in the game. Austin Worley running the option. He's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage as the airline Vikings have that one snuffed out and bring Austin Worley down for about a two-yard loss. Bears will play it second and 12. Tell you what, you can see the difference in, in the speed for airline. Catholic High clearly is the fastest team on the field, usually in most games they've played. Tonight, you can see that both sides of the ball, this ought to be quite a ball game to watch because I think it's going to be a dogfight all night long. Luke Gallman checks in for the Bears. They're going to run a spent offense. Austin Worley under a lot of pressure. He's got it out there to McLean. He's got some blockers out in front. Two flags come down, and that one's going to come back as the Bears, unfortunately, look like they had three flags that came down out there. We'll find out what they all are about. We know it looked like. I'm assuming it must have been an obvious call. because Might have been two different calls, yeah. though. You got three flags flying around. It seemed like two of the flags came down at the same time, Jesse. And then one came later. See Tracy, Tracy Russell, number four, free safety. It's one of the leading defensive carriers. Like you. We have both sides. We have holding. March at 15 yards forward, and the Bears will pick up a first down. And that was the late flag that we saw come in, Jesse. That was the late hit on the sideline against the airline. The Bears get a break there. First down on about the 37-yard line. You said it. However, we got to get a first down. That's a good way to do it. Trey McLean did a nice job on the screen of getting some positive yards. Got a little help on the hold out there, but still, again, good effort running down the sidelines, created a play that benefited the Bears as well. Giblin and Talbot, twins to the left. The Bears like to run the ISO right here. They're going to run the fake. Austin Worley's got it out here. That's Giblin. He's got it on about the 43-yard line, pickup of about seven yards. Tim Riley on the tackle for the Vikings. Right, right there, Giblin doing a nice job of catching the ball and getting some positive yards on first down. Copper Mill, golf course out in the Zachary area. As Mickey said, they've been also a part of our broadcast all year round. Drive up, get your tea time. Squeeze in some of this cool weather, nice weather, with some golf at 658-0656. Hand off of the middle. McLean bounces off one tackler, running hard out past midfield. Russell on the tackle for the Vikings, but... McLean was hit right at the line of scrimmage. Jesse spun around and picked up a big first down for the Bears, who now moved into airline territory for the second time tonight. Tell you what, Catholic High's offense showing, showing a lot of poise and really sticking with nice drives. So far, so good for two drives for Catholic High. Like I said, I think that's going to play big as this ball game moves on, as long as keep, both teams keep running the ball and scoring the ball as they are. Jermell Adams, Adams coming around for his first bit of action. He's going to pick up about five yards as the Bears on the spin offense run the misdirection in. Maybe Jermell could have picked up a little more, but good pursuit there by the airline defense. Second down and about six. If you're just joining us, we've had two touchdowns here in this ball game. The Catholic High Bears took the opening kickoff, drove it down, and actually fumbled it into the end zone and recovered it for a touchdown. Then on the first play from scrimmage, Airline fumbled it and ran 76 yards for the touchdown. Straight direct pitch to McLean. He's near the first down. It'll be about a yard or two short 
as the Bears go with a direct snap to the fullback. Mark Gladney holds on to him and drags him down. Bears will play it a big third down and about two on the 41-yard line. You know, Mickey, I was talking to Coach Weiner earlier this week about the spin offense, and I asked him, shoot, how do you defend it? Because we see so many teams, and, you know, part of the defending the spin offense is you got to be disciplined and you got to stay home, stay in your spot, and obviously fight off the blocks at the same time. So much movement going on in the backfield. It's really, uh, it's really airlines having a tough time. This Calakai is picking up four to seven yards of carry, which that's exactly what you want when you run an offense. Jamel Adams bounces around the left side, picks up the first down. Chad Hart, the junior linebacker for the airline Vikings, makes the stop as the Catholic High Bears in putting together another impressive drive. Looks like one of the Bears is shaking up there. Looks like McLean has gone down on one knee. While we have a time, Jesse, let's talk about some of the people that are bringing you Catholic High football and have done so all year long. Tell you, you, you said it, Sprint being a big part of it all year round. BRDP, roto Rooter, the Musgrove family, been support, supporters of Catholic High for many years. b and Electric, Treads and Care, the Holly family, Red Stick Sports. Well, Red Stick Sports has been involved with Catholic High ever since I know I was there, so many, many years, and we appreciate all them in Cirillo's Pizzeria. A newcomer to the restaurant business in Baton Rouge, been with us all year. We want to thank them for their sponsorship as well. Bears play at first and ten, play action. Austin Worley's got a man down the middle. That's Talbot. He's open. Touchdown, Bears. No flags, and the touchdown will stand. No flags. Good throw, good catch, good call by Coach Warner and his staff. The Bears strike again. Coach Warner talked about Tracy Russell's like for coming up and helping on the run. That's two big plays that the center field has been wide open. Catholic High taking advantage of it. Talbot doing a great job of running full through the route. Austin Worley doing even just as good a job or better of getting the ball over, get, putting it under, putting some air under it and letting him run under it. Nice play, Catholic High getting the lead. Here comes the sprint extra point, Luke Martin. Phillip Ray holds it, good snap, kick is up. And it is good. The Catholic High Bears, three minutes, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Take a 14-7 lead. We'll be right back. My name is Wesley Salmon with Salmon & Associates, a proud sponsor of Catholic High Football. My father founded the company in 1978. We provide multidiscipline engineering and detailed design to the industrial community of the Gulf South. As a member of the class of 91 and a current freshman football coach, I'd like to extend my thanks to all those who support Catholic High. And I'd also like to take a moment to remember three bears who, although they may no longer be with us, shall always be remembered. Brent Piku, Byron Monroe, and Barry Switzer. Here's Ryan Wright in motion. Burks is rolling near side to throw. Shoots one, it's intercepted! That's Barry Switzer! Barry Switzer, the leading tackler this year, number seven for the bears. Dan Boggs replaces your picture phone with dynamite and your head blows clean off. You do have an extra head, don't you, boy? No, this is... Props! It's my commercial! It's my phone! It's mine, mine, mine! What's the matter, friend? Your phone don't take pictures. Uh-oh. <laughs> Smile, baby. <laughs> so who should we send it to? Stop the picture. Picture mail from Sprint. Now at Sprint stores, get a PCS Vision picture phone for $99.99. Ow! Welcome back to Olympia Stadium. The Catholic High Bears have taken a 14-7 lead on the pass from Austin Worley to Ryan Talbot. Matt Newman, both the Bears and the Airline Vikings have not kicked the ball deep yet tonight, Jesse. They're both scared of the speed that's deep, and they've both all had sky kicks, and the way Newman's lining up right now looks like there it goes again. This time it's going to come down, though. Russell's going to get it on the 20. He's got some room on the outside. Got one man to beat, and he's still on his feet, running hard. The big fellow's got some speed and some strength and takes it out near midfield to the 47 or 48-yard line. Clay Harris on the tackle. Zach, what do you have for us on the sideline? 
Bears. Catholic High, of course, scored first on a fumble, and then the Vikings, in turn, scored on a fumble as well. But here we see Mickey and Jesse, Austin Worley coming in off the bench for Philip Ray, who probably got a little winded after trying to chase down that Viking running back. Austin Worley, all years, played well as a backup, and coming out tonight in the playoffs on a 36-yard touchdown pass to Ryan Toward. Really a good start for the Bears, and does a great, great thing to boost Austin Worley's confidence in the playoffs. Back to you in the booth. Thank you, Zach. Big Calvin Matthews, Jesse, running down the line of scrimmage and makes the play there. But a nice play by Neil Bro to keep containment there, turn it back into his teammates for a no gain. Running the option again, the quarterback has it. He's out past midfield to about the 47. I see Jeffrey Lewis in there, John Wilkinson, Jordan Concien, all combining to make that tackle. And the Black Hat defense will force the Vikings into a third down and about six here as the Bear defense hadn't been on the field bust in this first quarter You're as right. their big first third down test of the night. You're right. They should, they should be well rested. You know, the type of offense that both of these teams kind of start off in, it's almost like the old wing tee where they have one back down there and two on the outside. Incomplete. The Bears get a lot of pressure. Jonathan Alvarado, Jeffrey Lewis, and Neil Bro putting the heat on Travis Warren, and the ball falls incomplete. And we'll have our first punt of the night as Dramel Adams drops back as the lone deep back for the Bears on fourth down and six. You know, Mickey, we've seen it a lot. Catholic High, very good running team. Airline, a very good running team. Both defenses are very aggressive and have a lot of speed. Catholic High, though, always seems to have a good situation. Airline, we watched the quarterback early in the, tonight. Throwing is not Warren's forte. So if Catholic High can continue to put them in a third and six, third and seven situation, it's going to allow their offense and their defense to be successful and, more importantly, get the ball back in the offense's hands. And if we can keep having long drives as we are, because Catholic High is pretty much the first quarter has about a minute and 50 left. Catholic High's had the ball just about the whole game. So, so far, the game is playing to Catholic High's strengths as well as airline. They can't, you know, they're not going to be a team that can complete a lot of third and sevens, third and eights over the time. Uncle O's, located on Harold's Ferry Road, place your order today for your holiday fried turkeys. And stop and try their delicious sausage and gumbo, sausage, chicken and sausage gumbo. And Mickey talked about it Sunday cold weather might be coming, so it might be a good week to visit old Uncle O's Cafe. The Bears in the spin offense. Phillip Ray's got a little running room up the middle. He's out past the 15, out to the 16-yard line. The Bears, after the fine punt by Alex Curry, down on the four-yard line, come out and pick up a big first down and get out from underneath the shadow of that goal post, and we'll play it first and 10 at the 16. Chad Hart on the tackle for the Vikings. Boy, Phillip Ray doing a nice job of running the ball as usual. It's good to finally see that his ankle is back to full speed, and you can see the when he's fearless of running through that middle, you, you put yourself in a good situation because Phillip can pick up not only first downs, but he can take the distance as well. So Catholic Eye's office doing a good job of getting off the goal line. Underneath hand off the towel, but he makes a nice block. I'll pass the 20, out to the 27 or 28-yard line. Jeffrey Hastings, excuse me, gets that ball. I thought it was Talbot Hastings with the nice move out here on the bottom of your screen. Tracy Russell on the tackle for the Vikings, but first down again for the Bears. Phillip Ray run followed up by Jeffrey Hastings, and the Bears eating up big yardage here on this drive, starting in their own four-yard line. A lot of alternating in. Darren Dakmack just came in for number 57 for Catholic High. Robert Bogan. Robert Bogan. And that's something that Catholic High, as we've talked about, has a lot of depth, so they can keep a lot of, a lot of people fresh during this first quarter. The Bears overload to the right. Phillip Ray looking for a receiver. It is incomplete. I don't think Phillip Ray liked what he saw there, Jesse, and just kind of threw it away. Didn't take a chance. Good decision there. It was intended for Ryan Talbot, but I really don't think he was trying to actually complete that ball. Wasn't a lot there. Phillip Ray did the smart thing and play at second and ten. That's right. And first down, you definitely don't want to do something stupid. This part of the ball game, turnovers has been something that Catholic High has led over the last several weeks in a big way. 
Philip Ray, as you said, second and 10. Kyle on this drive has already done a great job of getting 25, 30 yards away from that goal yon to start off. Bears going to throw the throwback screen. It's not there. Philip Ray trying to find a place to go down. He finally does after about a two-yard gain as Airline snuffed out the throwback screen that time. Mark Gladney and Garvell Jenkins on the tackle. Philip Ray did the smart thing right there, Jesse, again, twice in a row. The play was not there, and he decided to take what he could get there, and he picked up about three yards. You know, Philip Ray is somebody that you very rarely have somebody that is in the second round of the playoffs, and that has probably played in, this is probably his sixth to eighth playoff game that he's played in in his career. Senior leadership is something that you can't replace in a playoff situation. He's going to have to throw it on third down. He's got some room. He's going to have to make a move. He does. He's going to be close to the first down. I think he's got it. As Philip Ray, again, showing the elusiveness that we all know he has. Garvell Jenkins brings him down. But what a weapon to have as the first quarter comes to an end here at Olympia Field. The Bears leading it 14-7. to It's been a good ball game. We expect three more good quarters. Don't go away. We'll be right back here on the Catholic High Football Network. I'm Bill Bernhard, president of Bernhard Brothers Mechanical, and we are proud to be part of the tradition of the Catholic High Athletic Program. Three years ago marked the third generation of a student athlete at Catholic High from the Bernhard family. Like the tradition of a fine athletic program, Bernhard Brothers has a combined experience of over 70 years, which enables us to meet all our clients' mechanical needs. Bernhard Brothers is the only local mechanical contractors to perform in-house plumbing, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, ductwork, temperature controls, as well as HVAC service work in the commercial and industrial sectors. Call Bernhard Brothers at 752-0785 for all your air conditioning service needs. Go Bears! Hello, I'm Robert Pendarvis, president and owner of B&D Electric Company. And I'm Zach Pendarvis. Since 1966, family owned and operated B&D Electric has become a Baton Rouge tradition. My brother Scott and I are also proud to be a part of another great Baton Rouge tradition, the Catholic High School family. For over 100 years, Catholic High has played a vital role in the education of young men in Baton Rouge. The family of BND Electric is proud to join the CHS family in support of both its academics and its athletics. From our family to yours, let's have a great season and go Bears! Welcome back. Philip Ray on the scramble picks up the big first down for the Catholic High Bears as we are just underway here in the second quarter. Stephen Butera, good to see him back there in the backfield again. They're going to probably shift into the eye here. No, they stay in the split back and run the draw to Jamel Adams. Got a little bit of running room inside. That's where Jamel is at his best sometimes. Squirming around in the interior there, Jesse, and he picks up about seven or eight yards. Mark Gladney on the tackle, but the Bears chewing up big yardage here against this airline Viking defense. Tell you what, Jamel Adams, we've seen him so many times where it looks like the play is over. And all of a sudden, he's hooking it down the sideline. So like Time out said, on the field, Jesse. A lot the of airline Vikings. In. We'll go to a break with him. 14-7, Catholic High. The next time you're in need of plumbing repairs, don't throw your money down the drain. Call the plumbing repair specialists at Lewis Mechanical Contractors. Our highly trained technicians provide a variety of services 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our friendly staff has the know-how to do the job right. Family owned and operated for over 43 years. For guaranteed repair service, turn to a name you can trust. Lewis Mechanical Contractors! The plumbing repair specialists. When you have a sports injury, you need to get back in the game fast. When you're hurt, you have a choice. So why not choose the best? Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. And Peak Performance will get you back on the field fast. Stronger and better than ever. Stronger. Faster. Better. Remember, when you have an injury, you do have a choice. So ask your doctor for the best. Ask for Peak Performance Physical Therapy. There's a location near you, and the results can last a lifetime. The Bears trot back onto the field. The airline coaching staff called timeout to try to get the Viking defense a break and get them a little more organized as the Bears started this drive on their own four-yard line and have moved it out to the 47. 
Play at second down and three. Austin Worley checks in the game, runs the pitch to Jamel Adams. Good blocking on the exterior. He's going to have the first down. Big Reve Smith was, was out about, there. I was about to say, Big Re Reve Smith, I'm going to give that run to him because I'll tell you what, the big fella got out there and the airline did what you're supposed to do. They tried to bust up in there and tried to break it up. Number two for airline, number four, both tried to get in there, break up the blocking in front of them. But I tell you what, you couldn't get Big Re Reve out of there and gave them room and another first down, as you said. First and ten. Bears in the shotgun. Austin Worley, here comes. That is Jeffrey Hastings underneath. He's got some room. He's going to have another first down for the Bears. Thomas Cavanaugh makes the stop. And if he wouldn't have got tripped up there, Jesse, he might have been to the house. I tell you what, airline clearly doesn't have an answer for the offense tonight. Catholic, as you said, they're obviously wearing them down. You got Tracy Russell to free safety. He's... He's been limping the last last couple of plays, and remember, he is a center field guy that doesn't look like he's ready. I would I would imagine that Coach Warner is licking his chops right now at a limping free safety that loves to come up on play action. Austin Worley is a quarterback. Jamel Adams, they're going to throw it. Worley has got, yes, he does. He's got Ryan Talbot down here on the sideline inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. The Bears pulling out all the stops here tonight, Jesse. Good running, good blocking by the big guys up front and throwing and catching the ball when they need to. First and 10 for the Bears. I'll tell you what, last week, Mickey, we saw a lot of, and I tell you what, I thought it was exciting, a lot of trick plays and a lot of excitement tonight. This is just good old fashioned execution on our offensive side of the ball. Running the ball, as you can see, sets up a tremendous Passing game, Catholic High doing very well on both sides. Rell Adams picks up about three tough yards down close to the 10 yard line. Zach Hendricks on the tackle for the Vikings as the play looked like it might pick up a little more than that, but a nice play there by one of the airline defenders, Hendricks, who stops Dromel Adams for about a three yard gain. Big series of down here for the Bears. They started on their own four. They need to punch this in, Jesse put an exclamation point on this drive as Butera is back there. It's going to be a straight handoff to Butera in the trap inside. He's inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Be third down and five. Corey Wells, the inside linebacker for the Vikings, makes the stop as Catholic High has moved inside the 10-yard line. Big third down and we'll call it five yards with 9 minutes 43 seconds left in this first half. Tell you what, what an impressive drive for Catholic High. And as you said, put the exclamation point on it. Finish this drive off. Third and third down, big play here for the Bears. Austin Worley coming out. Airlines, Calvin Dawson, number 22. All-state linebacker last year steps up, makes a play for Airline when they need it. It's going to force Catholic High into a field goal position. A very impressive drive. Luke Martin trots out onto the field. Phillip Ray will do the holding. A very impressive drive for the Bears. Need to come out with some points right here as Luke Martin has a pretty close to the middle of the field there, Jesse. That's about Phillip to say, Ray. the cow with Phillip Ray holding. Hold is down and the kick is, looks like the kick's good. No, no good. good. He missed it to the left as the Vikings will take over first and ten as the Bears fail to score after having the long drive and the Vikings take over first and ten. Tell you what, you got to hand it to Airline of sticking with it because I tell you what, it seemed like the sail was blowing. Calakai's offense is rolling down the field. They stepped up when they needed to make a play. And now it's time for Calakai's defense who hadn't seen a lot of action tonight through the success of the offensive drives. A handoff up the middle. He's going to be swarmed under by several of the Bear defenders. I saw Jonathan Alvarado leading the charge. Calvin Dawson is going to pick up nothing as the Bear is ready for that interior running that airline has tried to do all night long. And what the Bears really want to do is force them into a passing situation, which we have right here. 
and make a big play. Calvin Dawson trying to get outside, and Jeffrey Lewis also in on that play, doing a good job of staying home and not letting anything out there. They run the option wide. He's finally dragged down by Wilkinson out past the 35 to the 37-yard line. Cordero Green on the end around. Phillip Bray and a couple of other Bear defenders looked like they had a bead and might have bumped into each other as they were coming up to support the pitch man on the option. And big play there by the airline Viking offense. Travis Warren for airline doing a nice job as running the option and Ball incomplete, not even close as one of the things that the, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back to Catholic High Football Network. <laughs> Welcome back. We had some technical difficulties there. Sorry, but we, while we were away, quarterback Travis Warren, on a great individual effort for the airline Vikings, brought it down inside the Bear 30-yard line as we have a official checking the equipment on Calvin Dawson, and we're ready to play. Anyway, first and 10, the Black Hat defense needs to come up big here as airline driving the ball. Quarterback takes it around the left side. He's going to be short yard is there. Maybe picks up a yard. Jeffrey Lewis in on the tackle for the Black Hat defense. I tell you what, Travis Warren, not near as good of a passer as Austin Worley and Phillip Ray. But I tell you what, equally as shifty on running the option, doing a good job. As you said, Mickey, as you away, Travis Warren does a very nice job of running the option, cutting up the field. And really, not a big guy. But I tell you what, he takes a lot of hits, just like Catholic High's quarterback, but obviously doing a good job of getting some positive yards. Second and eight for airline. Handoff right up the middle to Dawson, and he's running hard. John Wilkinson on the tackle for the Bears, picks up about five yards, and it'll be third and about three, maybe two, as the Viking offense is starting to click here and move the ball. The Black Hat defense needs to come up big. Tell you what, John Wilkerson right there on an individual effort. I don't know if he lost his footing or just got blocked very well, but did a great job of really just grab, grabbing a hold of Calvin Dawson's foot and not letting him go and forcing him to tackle because there was nobody down in center field once Calvin Dawson would have got through right there. It looks like airline will pick up the first down, and that's going to give them a first down on about the 15-yard line. And as you said, Mickey, Airline doing a nice job of answering Catholic High. Catholic High coming up with an 80-yard-plus drive, came up with no points. Airline coming back and answering with a drive so far that Catholic High's defense is going to have to step up and try to keep them from scoring. It is first and 10 on the 15-yard line. Airline running the same thing over and over. Right up the middle, Calvin Dawson stumbling forward inside the 10 to about the eight yard line, maybe call it the seven yard line. Jonathan Alvarado drags him down, but now it's the Viking offense chewing up big yardage here as we've had a lot of offense in this first half of this second round playoff game. You know, Calvin Dawson, Mickey, is, is a guy 5'8", 195, I think he is. And I tell you what, that 5'8", is a big difference because a lot of times you can't see the little guy coming, but he's got a lot of speed. He's very similar to a Warwick Dunn type runner where you can't see him coming. He's got a lot of good moves and a lot of power. 
to add with the quickness, so that, that's what makes him as good as he is. And Kavakai, he's doing a good job. Kavakai's going to have to keep plugging the holes up in the middle like they're doing. We have a penalty on airline. It's going to push him back five yards. They blew the play dead as the Vikings were facing a second and short. Now they're going to face a second and long. You see the referee making the call there, some type of movement on the interior of the Viking offense will force them into second and about seven. Travis Warren, the quarterback, has Dawson behind him. They're going to run the option straight to the left. Warren ducks down inside the 10-yard line. Jeffrey Lewis grabs him around the ankles and drags him down at about the 10. And this third and five, Jesse, would probably count as the biggest third down play of the ball game so far. Without a doubt. This is where Catholic High was about a third and five. Airline answered the call, forced them into a field goal that we missed. Great opportunity for Catholic High to stuff the same kind of situation on them. Third and five, they're going to keep it on the ground as quarterback is going to be run down. He pitches it late, and a lot of bears out there to bring it down for about a two-yard gain. That is Brain, Blaine Taylor on the, on the carry there. Tell you what, Mickey, Catholic High defensively there, excellent, because when Warren rode the fullback into the hole, pulled it out, and was going around on the option, initially he had some, reason, some room. But I tell you what, while they take a break, we'll do it too. We'll be right back. Our company offers a full range of auto repair services and quality tires. We now offer the high mileage, fuel efficient Toyo tires. The new Toyo 800 Ultra with a 100,000 mile limited warranty may even outlast your vehicle. Treads and Care Tire Company has five convenient locations to better serve local families. For quality Toyo tires and other great values, Treads and Care Tire Company has the tires you need and the service you want. Get into the game. You can count on Jerry Get into Lane. the game with Jerry Lane. We've got the winning combination, the service, the style, and an unbeatable selection from Jerry Lane Enterprises. So get into the game with Chevy, Pontiac, Buick, GMC, Saturn, and the all-new Hummer. There's nothing like it anywhere, and there's nothing like Jerry Lane. So get into the game. You can count on Jerry Lane. The Vikings line up for a 25-yard field goal. Alex Curry snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. The airline Vikings drive down and put three points on the board. The Bears lead it 14 to 10. We'll be right back. We're on a mission. A mission to help families save more money for their future, to manage what they have, and to borrow wisely. We're Baton Rouge Teachers Federal Credit Union, and we look out for our members with all of the services they need. Better rates, better deals, a better feel. Because we're member-owned, and we're not just for teachers. In fact, you can probably join. Baton Rouge Teachers Federal Credit Union. Call or visit our website today. And now with Sprint, unlimited night minutes, instead of starting at 9, start at 7. And your calls are clear. Wait till I tell them about the nationwide network. Now with Sprint, on any new service plan, you can get two more hours of weeknight calling. Welcome back. Alex Curry brings the Vikings within four points here with four minutes and four seconds left. Jamel Adams is the lone deep back as the Vikings have not kicked the ball deep yet tonight. Alex Curry has it teed up. He's getting a signal from the special teams coach down here on the bottom as to where he wants to kick. As Curry approaches the ball and Sky kicks it once again. 
Jordan Concien. Got it on the 20. Out past the 30 to the 34 yard line. Make it without a doubt, there's a lot of respect for Dramel Adams because for a guy that we've seen have so much success all year, they will not kick to him. Uncle O's Cafe, Mickey. It's turkey time. Order those fried turkeys so everybody can eat a bunch of fried turkeys next week. And also, as I've said before, chicken and sausage gumbo. Cold weather is coming, supposedly. So call Uncle O's, 751 one, two, three, five. Located on Harrells Ferry Road. Give them a call. Phillip Ray is back in at quarterback. Jamel Adams in motion. Ray running it hard up the middle. Phillip Ray is going to pick up about four yards on the quarterback keeper. We've seen that all year long, and Phillip Ray has made a living on there. You wouldn't think that a little guy like Phillip Ray would stick it in there, Jesse, but he's as tough as they come, and he picks up about five. You also got to give a little... A little credit to giving him the, the line push. Ryan Richard, Adam Wilcox, Darren Mack, Dak Mack, Mark Erie, and Reve Smith doing also a fine job of pushing that line back. Let Phillip Ray coming up right there. Jamel Adams pitch a little bit outside. Does a good job of just getting the ball and holding on to it. But what that's going to do is force Catholic High into about a third and 12, third and 13 situation. A third and about 18, Jesse. 18. Wrong line I was looking at there. Third and about, well, we're both wrong. That's probably about 15, but still, it's a lot. And this third down and long is something that the Catholic High offense has not faced all night long as the Bears will take a timeout and talk about it. We'll take a timeout with them. You're watching the Catholic High Football Network. Oh, that's the way I like it. Fried fish, shrimp, and oysters, the taste of Louisiana. Oh, yeah. And Louisiana fish fry products makes it easy to fry right every time. Can't get enough. The seasoning's already in the mix. Just batter, fry, and enjoy. Oh, now you're cooking. There's a chicken fry, too. With Louisiana fish fry products, you've got frying down easy. Oh, that's the way I like it. You've got choices for your physical therapy needs. Choices that can put you back in control of your life. Moro Physical Therapy, celebrating 25 years of dedicated quality care with four locations to serve you. Our one-on-one -on -one treatment is designed to give you personal attention in a friendly and caring environment. Trust the caring professionals of MPT to put you back in control of your life. Moro Physical Therapy, celebrating 25 years of dedicated quality care. Facing a third down and long. You know, Catholic High has used a quick kick earlier in the year. They haven't used it in quite a while. But if you were going to kick the ball, this would be a perfect time to do it. But the Bears come out in a straight set. Come in motion. Phillip Ray throws it back. He's got Jamel Adams wide open. Jamel's at midfield. He kneels it down. Oh, I guess his that. knee was on the ground, but it was a good play for Jamel Adams to secure the ball there as the Bears come up with a big third down and long play out of the deep in the playbook and pick up the first down and keep this drive alive. That looked like the old version of the rail, Mickey, where you got a couple people coming outside. Jamel Adams doing a fine job of sneaking around. Phillip Ray getting it to him. And also heads and tails. They're also taking orders for the turkey season. They're located on Perkins Road, really close actually to the stadium here that we're having a game tonight. They got the pecan glazed ham or the fried turkey, so call them for this holiday season. 767-2525. And Mickey, a third and 15. You gotta like that situation for Catholic High. No one likes third and 15, and they made it easily. That's McLean running up for about a one yard gain as Boris Bartley, the interior defensive lineman, comes up with the play for the Vikings. Bears will play it second and long. You know, the two big guys up front, Jesse, for the Vikings will both, both go about 270. That's some big fellas up front, and they secure the inside, and the Bears 
Done a good job running the ball tonight. That time they stuffed it for about a one yard gain. 270. 270 underneath the Jamel Adams. Needs a block. Cuts it up the field to about the 46 yard line. Picks up about three yards. Thomas Cavanaugh on the stop for the airline Vikings. The Bears kind of slowly getting in and out of the huddle as time is running down. One minute, 30 seconds to play in this first half. Third down and five. Big third down here, Mickey, because one minute, 20 seconds left. This will give Catholic High the ability to, if, if anything, hold on to the ball for the rest of the half. Philip Ray under a lot of pressure. He's going to go down as the ball is thrown incomplete. Nope, does not go down. He's an athlete, Mickey. He's an athlete. His Jeremy Tate didn't look like much, but that took a lot of effort on Philip Ray's part. He preserved about 10 or 12 yards, and right here, Catholic High, I would imagine, are going to be punting the ball. And in doing that, what they did was give themselves a great chance of backing airline way back. Airline cannot throw the ball very well at all. It's fourth down and five. The Bears in the shotgun. They may quick kick it here, Jesse. You don't know. Nope. Philip Ray is going to keep it. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. He takes it up the gut. Picks up about three yards, but does not make the first down as one of the Viking defenders is still down on the field. All right, we'll take a break as a 10 to the injured player. We'll be right back here on the Catholic High Football Network. This is what you do. This is who you are. This is how you live. Spectrum Fitness Clubs and Lady Spectrum Fitness. For your lifestyle. Brand new 04 Chevys, priced like 03s. It's only at Brian Harris Chevy. Get in the saving zone for 04 Silverados, now just 15,455. 04 Extended Caps, priced like 03s, just 18,666. 04 Trailblazers, now just 22,333. And factory fresh 04 Tahoes go for just 26,777. 04s, priced like 03s. You see so many because they paid so little at Brian Harris Chevy, Florida, east of Flannery. One minute left in this first half. The Bears turn the ball over right past midfield. Airline's going to run it. And Lato's got him in the backfield along with a couple of the other Bears. And that's going to be a late hit on Airline right there. One of the linemen came in late and dive on the pile. And unless my eyes deceive me, Jesse, that's going to be a late hit on the Vikings. It's one of those things, and you've seen it, Jesse. You've played a lot of football like me. Those linemen like to come in there late in the pile and sometimes take some cheap shots, and the referee was right on top of it there, and that's going to cost 15 yards. You know, you know what those linemen yards. hate, Mick, is they hate the fact that eight Catholic high guys are tackling one white jersey. So that ain't something that those guys like, and like you said, it benefited us. Machida and Company is a company that Dan Studio in Baton Rouge, a lot of the – a lot of the CHS Bruinettes have attended her education, Machita Company, and also Machita Company is proud of their CHS senior, number 63, Mark Erie. Machita and Company is nationally acclaimed competition. Give them a call for all you lovely young ladies who want to learn dance. Philip Ray coming up off of his free safety position as the Bears take a timeout and will stop the clock. They're trying to stop the clock, Jesse. As Tell us about some of the other sponsors who are bringing us Catholic High football, Jesse. Sprint, Bernhard Brothers, also Henry C. Erie. You can see the name coming back again. Henry C., they're, they're proud of senior Mark Erie, also recently joining their firm, Trey Erie. But what they do is Henry's Consulting Engineers has been in business for 12 years. They're located on Picardy Avenue. 
Consulting engineers specialize in HVAC, heating and commercial, institutional, and industrial facilities. So give them a call for your engineering needs. And also, other sponsors that we have to thank for all year of their participation, Sprint, Bernhard Brothers. The Bernhard Brothers have been involved with Cali Chi for many years and have been supporting us. Peak Performance Physical Therapy, Jerry Lane Enterprises, Baton Rouge Teachers Federal Credit Union, Express Title, still a lot of refinancing going on and other title work. Call Express Title for your title work needs. And Cirillo's Pizzeria. Third down and very long for the Viking offense. The Bears have Calvin Dawson who breaks loose. They need to bring him down. He's still on his feet. He finally gets out of bounds right at midfield as the Bears took a timeout to try to get the Vikings to punt the ball, but now the Vikings have it third down, fourth down, excuse me, fourth down in about four yards. I thought he had the first down, but I was looking at the wrong down marker. It'll be fourth down in about four. That's one of those plays, Mickey, I think, that actually airline was thinking, we don't want to turn the ball over here either. Handed it off straight up the middle on a fullback dive. Something good happened for airline, but it looks like they're going to push themselves into a punting situation, and they just don't want to fool with Catholic High and Coach Wander's probably ability to come up with one play when you need it to go to distance. They do punt it, but there is a whistle as it looks like airline did not get the ball off in time. The clock ran out. And nope, it's going to be legal formation. Dead ball, illegal formation, and they'll have to punt it again. It's been a very hard fought first half here as we're winding down. 15 seconds left in this first half. The Started Bears, out like New Year's and that's right. Ended off with just defenses swapping punches. So a lot of fireworks early and then late. The defenses kind of took over. Alex Curry is set deep. The Bears come after it and shanked off to the right. Bears have nine seconds and one timeout. They're going to get the ball right at midfield, Jesse. Maybe have a chance to get about a 15 or 20 yard gain, call a timeout, and try a long field goal. We'll see what happens here as the Bears do have one timeout left. They're going to have to get this playoff quickly and get it long enough far enough down the field that we could try a long field goal. You know, Catholic High has done a great job of throwing the ball tonight. Both Philip Ray and Austin Worley have come up with some big plays on the passing tonight, so this is not a give up and run the ball out, and as you can see, Catholic High coming with three wides out here. Jason Alver by himself on the left, and that's where they're going. They're trying to pick up a little action. Jason Arbor couldn't hang on to it on the sideline. He was trying. Oh, I think, I think it looked like he was trying to catch and get out of bounds or, chip, or catch it and flea flick it to look like Trey McLean was trying to come out of the backfield. Remember when I was playing at Catholic High right before halftime. Yeah, we <laughs> every now and then we ran trick plays, believe ran it or not. Play. They're not as near as, as seasoned as they are these days, but that was one of the old flea flicker kind of deals where you short quick when it looked like Trey McLean was going to be coming out of the backfield, but as you said, Jason Arbor just tried to do something with it before he caught it. So Austin Worley checks in for the Bears. They're going to run it right up the middle. He's still on his feet. They're going to bring him down inside the 40, and that'll do it for the first half here. Good ball game between the Catholic High Bears and the Airline Vikings. When we come back, Zach will have some special guests for us down on the sideline. You're watching the Catholic High Football Network. Brent, unlimited night minutes, instead of starting at 9, start at 7. <laughs> and your calls are clear. Wait till I tell them about the Nationwide Network. Now with Sprint, on any new service plan, you can get two more hours of weeknight calling. 
With over 75 years experience, BRDP has provided our customers with the complete line of Gear Ceramita products. Our customers are our first priority. We're committed to provide solutions for all of their copier and printer needs. The thing that really impresses me the most about Baton Rouge Duplicating Products is their outstanding service, and we really love our meat copier. BRDP and Kira Ceramita. Commitment and experience no one can copy. Just call on BRDP. Next time, call an expert. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood plumber. My name is Wesley Salmon with Salmon and Associates, a proud sponsor of Catholic High Football. My father founded the company in 1978. We provide multidiscipline engineering and detailed design to the industrial community of the Gulf South. As a member of the class of 91 and a current freshman football coach, I'd like to extend my thanks to all those who support Catholic High. And I'd also like to take a moment to remember three bears who, although they may no longer be with us, shall always be remembered. Brent Piku, Byron Monroe, and Barry Switzer. Here's Ryan Wright in motion. Burks is rolling near side to throw. Shoots one, it's intercepted! That's Barry Switzer! Barry Switzer, the leading tackler this year. Number seven for the Bears. Wherever there is a heart of a champion, there must be something to help it prevail. Wherever there is a burning desire to excel, there must be someone to count on to help make it happen. The hearts of champions are many on the courts and playgrounds of Baton Rouge, and Red Stick Sports proudly fills the needs of these champions on the courts and fields of dreams come true. You supply the heart. We'll supply with what else you need to succeed. Red Stick Sports. Sorello's Pizzeria. It's a family-owned and operated restaurant featuring old-world Italian cuisine. Unbelievably delicious pizza, calzones, pasta dishes, and daily specials you can't get anywhere else. Let us cater your next party or tailgating event. We are located on the corner of Jefferson and Blue Bonnet. Opening mid-September, seven days a week for your dining pleasure. Sorello's Pizzeria, the corner of Jefferson and Blue Bonnet. Forget about it! Back to Olympia Field here at halftime of an exciting second round playoff game between the Acadiana, excuse me, the Airline Vikings and the Catholic High Bears. Catholic High, of course, leading 14 to 10. And I'm joined now by Catholic High wrestling coach, defensive assistant, as well as the free enterprise teacher and eighth grade PE coach, Tommy Prohaska, graduate of Catholic High School, who we've interviewed here before. And Tommy, football is kind of winding down with the playoffs. Of course, we hope we have about three or four more weeks. But tell us about what's going on with the wrestling team. We know Catholic High fields a strong team each year. Yeah, we just started this year. Um, we wrestled last week in a Parview tournament, got second. Uh, we host a little dual meet tournament tomorrow at school, starting at 11, uh, with some local teams trying to get some experience from my young guys. We're a real young team this year. Um, I graduated a lot of guys. I've got four guys coming back who were place finishers at state last year, so that helps. But um, I've got several sophomores in the lineup, and those guys got to step up big for me this year. Well, Tom, we know every year the wrestling program continues its strong tradition. Give the names of some of those leaders, those young guys who Bear fans can come out to watch at the dual meets at Catholic High or follow them throughout the state. Who are the guys coming up we should be looking out for? Well, Luke Hidalgo, he's a senior this year, the state runner-up coming back for me. Keith Hidalgo, no relation, but uh, he's my heavyweight. He's got a good shot at placing in the top three at state meet this year. Uh, Chris Oakley and Andrew Bolton and Scott Anderson are all captains, and they wrestled for me last year, a four-year starter. So we got some experience, but we also have some young guys that got to step up. Well, fans, along with being a wrestling coach, Tommy also is up in the press box each week calling Coach Garadale, giving the defensive information from up in the press box, really doing a great job. And, Tommy, we'll see you back in the booth during the second half and hope to have a great one. Thank you very much. Fans, we'll be right back with another guest here on the Catholic High Football Network. Hello, I'm Robert Pendarvis, president and owner of B&D Electric Company. And I'm Zach Pendarvis. Since 1966, family-owned and operated B&D Electric has become a Baton Rouge tradition. My brother Scott and I are also proud to be a part of another great Baton Rouge tradition, the Catholic High School family. For over 100 years, Catholic High has played a vital role in the education of young men in Baton Rouge. The family of B&D Electric is proud to join the CHS family in support of both its academics and its athletics. From our family to yours, let's have a great season and Go Bears! 
I'm Bill Bernhard, president of Bernhard Brothers Mechanical, and we are proud to be part of the tradition of the Catholic High Athletic Program. Three years ago marked the third generation of a student athlete at Catholic High from the Bernhard family. Like the tradition of a fine athletic program, Bernhard Brothers has a combined experience of over 70 years, which enables us to meet all our clients' mechanical needs. Bernhard Brothers is the only local mechanical contractors to perform in-house plumbing, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, ductwork, temperature controls, as well as HVAC service work in the commercial and industrial sectors. Call Bernhard Brothers at 752-0785 for all your air conditioning service needs. Go Bears! When you have a sports injury, you need to get back in the game fast. When you're hurt, you have a choice. So why not choose the best? Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. And Peak Performance will get you back on the field fast. Stronger and better than ever. Stronger. Faster. Better. Remember, when you have an injury, you do have a choice. So ask your doctor for the best. Ask for Peak Performance Physical Therapy. There's a location near you, and the results can last a lifetime. Action Advertising Promotions is a proud supporter of the high school football game of the week. Action Advertising Promotions is your promotional headquarters. You dream it, we imprint it. Action Advertising Promotions imprints thousands of promotion advertising items. We also can help you with signs, banners, and thousands of stock flags. Action Advertising Promotions, located airline at Jefferson Highway in Baton Rouge. The magic number, 292-SIGN, 292-7446. Trish & Associates is one of the largest accounting firms in the Baton Rouge area. With a professional staff of experienced CPAs, the firm is able to offer a wide range of accounting, tax, and business advisory services. Whether you are an individual worker, a mom-and-pop small business, or an up-and-coming multi-million dollar corporation, the professionals at Trish & Associates can construct a business strategy and tax plan designed for you. Trish and Associates invite you to call and set up an appointment so they can begin to help you on your way to achieving your financial goals. Trish and Associates. I'm joined now by Mr. Kim Gaspar, the principal at Airline High School up in Bossier City. And Mr. Gaspar, we thank you very much for stopping by. And it's been an exciting game for both of us. We're talking about the differences in the team approach, but it's really been an exciting game for the fans to watch. I think so. Uh, we knew it was going to be exciting, but we knew what we were facing in Catholic High School. They have such a rich tradition. And uh, we're, we've been to the playoffs three years now in a row and, and uh, had been many years earlier, but uh, it's exciting for us to be able to play people around here, and uh, we hope we can uh, have a good showing. Well, Mr. Gaspard, fans down here may are probably not that familiar with your school in that area. Just give us an idea of the, some of the programs and things going on at Airline besides the great football team you have here tonight. Well, we're a school of about 1,400 kids, and uh, we're in a, a very fast-growing area of the state. Bossier City's population is on the upswing, and uh, a lot of building is going on right now. But uh, we're a very diversified group at our school, and uh, uh, we, we, are, uh, we excel in uh, just about every sport. And uh, we have a very fine parental support in our community, so uh, that makes our job a lot easier with the parents involved. Well, Mr. Gaspar, we thank you for stopping by and giving us a little information about Airline High School. Of course, I know one of your former alum, Todd Walker, is a good friend of my family. So a lot of great talent up at Airline. Had a great baseball team for many years. Uh, as he said, very rich tradition of athletes up there as well. You, very strong, very strong academic school. A school very similar to Catholic High, and we're pleased to have him here tonight. And it's been an exciting contest, and it should be a great second half. So we want to thank Mr. Gaspar again. And we'll be back here on the Catholic High Football Network after these messages. Treads and Care Tire Company offers a full range of auto repair services and quality tires. We now offer the high mile. Exemplifies the type of ball game we expected to see progress each week in the playoffs as the opponents get stronger and stronger. Of course, last week we started off with 32 teams, it was down to 16, or excuse me, 64 down to 32 this week. And after tonight's ball game, only 16 teams will be left in the state. The Bears facing a very good opponent, as we stated in the pregame, and Mickey and Jesse have talked about during the first half. This team from Airline is the type of ball game Catholic High can expect to see as it advances in the playoffs and plays some more teams from North Louisiana. That power running game, they throw it just enough to keep the Bears honest, but Coach Garadale's defense has responded well and only given up 10 points here in the first half, and that one touchdown was on a fumble. 
The Bears, on the other hand, have been in control of the ball offensively most of the evening. They held the ball for the majority of the first quarter and were fortunate enough to score on a fumble of their own. Of course, the pass to Jeremy Easton fumbled and got back into it and they recovered for the touchdown. And the Bears are doing a wonderful job and have built up for a great second half. We'll be right back, and Mickey and Jesse will bring it to you here on the Catholic High Football Network. For a quality steak, you need a butcher. To start this second half, as you look at it from right to left, so the Bears will have the scoreboard going into the scoreboard in the fourth quarter as if when there's no wind to speak of, mostly teams will opt to get the scoreboard or go to the scoreboard in the fourth quarter, and that's what the Bears will be doing. So they'll be kicking it from right to left as they lead the airline Vikings 14 to 10, getting ready to start this second half. It ought to be a good second half. Jesse, I think both you and I agree we were talking at halftime. These teams are pretty evenly matched, and this one may go down to the wire. It really should, and I tell you what, both defenses have stepped up to the plate. Looked like it was going to be a track meet we were watching early on, but both defenses have stepped up and kept them not, and both of them are scared to kick it deep as well. Right there, number 30 for Airline. Picked the ball up very nicely, fielded it like a true shortstop. Ran it, and Airline's going to start off a good field position on the 40-yard line. Darrell Green picks it up and runs it out to the 40-yard line as the Bears and the Vikings both scared to kick it deep. That time, Green picks it up and runs it back out to the 40-yard line, and the Black Hat defense will have to Who's got it there? It looks like maybe Jordan Cassian's got it. No, that's Jeffrey Hastings down inside the five, down the four-yard line. There is a flag on the play, but that's going to go against the Vikings for illegal motion, and the Bears are going to take it on the four-yard line. Jesse, Phillip Ray came in from safety. Not only did he smash the running back coming off the corner, but stripped it all in one motion, and we talk about Phillip Ray offensively. That was one of the better defensive plays you'll ever see. He's a phenomenal player, and as you said, we've always said his specialty, as valuable as he is to this offense, his specialty is definitely defense, and you won't see a better play than that play anywhere. Like you said, he came up, put a lick on the running back, and then flipped the ball up. Phenomenal play. Austin Worley is in at quarterback. Talk about setting the tone, Mickey. That's how you set it right there. John Wilkerson, Tr Trey McLean, and Jermell Adams stacked in the eye as the Bears might play some power ball here. And they do. Jermell Adams is going to be knocked down for about a one-yard loss as the Bears run it, trying to run it inside. Thomas Cavanaugh, the inside linebacker, meets Jermell Adams. Looks like he lost about a half a yard, maybe a yard right there. It really did. And, you know, and I would say that's the style. I mean, not that Catholic High is not going to score here. I feel confident that we ought to be able to get the ball in. But this style of is probably what Airlines defense is best at because they got those two big guys in the middle. But Catholic High is misdirection and speed, but this is when Catholic High is going to get behind the airline. Play action. He's wide, wide open. open. That's Alvarado. Touchdown, Bears. Nice play fake by Worley. Had patience, Jesse, because he was under a lot of pressure. But nice play call by Coach Weiner. And the Bears take the turnover and turn it in to six points. Man, I tell you what, that's, that's taking – Taking the opportunity and running with it, literally. But Catholic High has just done something that you like to do in the second half, is put yourself ahead by more than a touchdown. And more than anything, is really deflated airline in a situation that both of you are trying to capitalize or try to set the tone. Catholic High's defense clearly taking advantage of the situation. First half, it was the offense that set the, set the tone. Second half, defense starts it off well. Luke Martin puts his foot into it, and it is good. Phillip Ray with a big defensive play gives the Bears the ball inside the three and they take a 21 to 10 lead. We'll be right back. Worley to Jonathan Alvarado.
Newman squibs it along the bottom. Green picks it up again. He's going to come down to the far side. He's got a little gap. And Adam Leto lays a little leather as one of the Bears, number 20, Mark Grant, had the bead on the ball carry, had him low, and Leto finished him up high as the Bears starting to lay a little leather here in the second half. Man, you got to love the way the Bears tackle, man. They tackle as a team. They tackle as a unit. It's always that way all year round. Coach Weiner, Coach Jerry Garadell, Don Hood and their staff do such a nice job of teaching these guys how to properly tackle with a lot of aggressiveness. Airline's going to go to the air. He's under a lot of pressure. He gets it out. Phillip Ray once again. When a tackle's made like that, you know 14 is there. And Phillip Ray showing why he's one of the premier players in the state of Louisiana. And, you know, we don't we talk about him all the time just because he carries the ball and he's in the game all the time. But we can't say enough about what this young man has done as a senior, not only last year as a junior, but as a senior on both sides of the ball, just showing a little leadership here when you, when you most need it in the playoffs. He really does, and I tell you what, he's, he's almost by himself, not to take anything away from anybody else, he's by himself set the tone in his second half. And the airline, I can promise you, is not going to beat us tonight by throwing the ball. There's no way they're going to do it. And that's this This is so far going to play in the Catholic eye's hand. And if Catholic eye's defense had come up big now and didn't get another score, it's going to give them a big advantage for the rest of this ball game. Adam Leto and John Wilkinson bring down the ball carrier Dawson. One of the things that you do, Jesse, when you get the lead in the second half is you make the other team start thinking about being behind and maybe changing that game plan. You can, almost, Smith is in the ball game, you can almost sense that because they've thrown the ball twice exactly. in this drive, and they haven't thrown the ball twice the whole game. But well, they're going to run it this time around the left side. Looked like there was a little holding there, but not called. It's going to be close to the first down as the referee is going to put it down. John Wilkerson in on the tackle. We're about to find out how much respect they do have for this Catholic high defense. And nope. they don't. That's going to be fourth they down. Have a lot of it. They're going to punt it. It's clearly fourth and very short. Airline deciding to punt the ball this may be an opportunity. I'd, I'd be hesitant on Catholic High's part to, to make sure it. they snap it all the way through because fourth and one, this is a crucial period in this ball game for Airline to punt this ball away, and Catholic High is being. They're being careful, but Curry looks like he's going to kick it, and he does. It. is down on the 16-yard line. Somebody took a cheap shot on Phillip Ray right there, and that's going to cost airline 15 yards. That's a pr pretty ridiculous play on airline side. I mean, that gets you nothing, but, you know, you have a chance to back up Catholic High and hopefully put a stop to them, not allow them to, to make a play. Catholic High is going to get 15 yards off of that one, which... Airlines actually put themselves behind the a ball a little bit more than they should have in that case. Silly play, but we're glad to have it. Well, when you get a guy that's vulnerable like that and you take a cheap shot on him, it's always going to come down as the Bears will pick up 15 yards as Airline shoots themselves in the foot here in the second half once again. All right, here we go, Jesse. This is what we have. It looks like we had interference on the offense. Not a personal foul. As they ran into the deep back who was trying to return the punt. So it's interference. And they're going to re-kick this. Try to figure out whether it's a 5-yard or 15-yard penalty. Looks like it's going to be... A 10-yard penalty. No, it's 15-yard penalty, and Dramel Adams will now drop back deep as they, this is certainly a punting situation now. Definitely a punting situation now, and definitely what you want if you're Catholic High is they got a good punter. Let's see if they can get the ball back to Dramel and let him do some of his magic. Eight minutes, 29 seconds left in the third quarter. The Bears should get it back. In pretty decent field position. They're going to run the fake, and it is incomplete.
incomplete. The Bears on the fake punt. It was get there. A, get a break. But that's it, a very dangerous time to try that on your own 27-yard line because throwing and catching a ball is not automatic at any time. And gutsy call there by the airline staff. But the Bears have a chance to put another nail in this coffin here as they're building momentum and now have it inside the 27-yard line, marching it down. Machida and company, dance studio, give them a call, 749-2478. A lot of CHS Bruinettes have entered her school before, so give them a call. Philip Brave going for all the money. Incomplete, Ryan Talbot had a step on Russell deep in the end zone, just overthrown. Pretty good throw there by Phillip Ray. Put the ball one place it could be, caught by Talbot, but just incomplete, and the Bears play at second and 10. Well, and I tell you what, Coach Wanner has really attacked the center of the field this week. He really must have noticed Tracy Russell free safety for airline must love to come up and bite because I've never seen Catholic High throw so much up the middle before tonight. Phillip Ray on the quarterback draw picks up about three yards Corey Wells on the tackle for the Vikings as the Bears fake the toss sweep Philip Ray comes up limping a little bit Jesse and he's gonna come out of the ball game and that's something you don't want to see he's had trouble with that ankle all year long and when he gets wrapped up in the pile you see him over there limping and that is not good not a good sign for the Catholic High Bears Austin Worley Checks in at quarterback, third down. They're going to run the draw to Jamel Adams, squirming inside. Down right at the 20-yard line. It'll bring up fourth down and about three. The Catholic High offense looks like they're staying on the field and we will go for this fourth down. This is a big fourth down as the Bears have an 11-point lead, seven minutes 11 seconds left in this third quarter. Big third down here for the Catholic High offense. Really is Luke Martin definitely in his range, but also definitely a good good spot for Catholic High to be a fourth down play, really. I mean, 20-yard line, offensive line has done a tremendous job all night. Timeout. Of getting it. Catholic High is going to take a timeout. Timeout by the Bears. And we will take a break with them as when we come back, it'll be a big fourth down. You're watching the Catholic High Football Network. The Land Rose Supermarket, a Baton Rouge tradition, located at 4142 Government Street. One of the greatest athletes on this field tonight in the Big Orange. Fourth down and three. Big, big play here in the ball game as Austin Worley has Trey McLean and Jeffrey Hastings in the backfield. They're going to run a toss to Hastings around the right side, running hard. He's got the first down inside the 15, down to the 10-yard line. And Jeffrey Hastings got his shoulders north and south, Jesse, and used the speed that we know he has and gets a first down for the Catholic High Bears. So I was about to say, Mickey, nothing, nothing fancy on Coach Weiner. Toss giving sweep. it to Jeffrey and letting him roll, and he did it. Nice play, a nice run by Jeffrey Hastings to get the first down and then some. Toss sweep into the boundary. Picked up about nine yards on the carry. Very well designed play, good blocking up front, and the Bears... Keep the drive alive. Hand off right up the gut to McLean. He's going to pick up about four yards. Corey Wells on the stop for the Vikings. As the Catholic High Bears can really put some distance between themselves and the Vikings right here. If they can punch a touchdown in, they get this one in, Jesse. They will then be three scores up, which would be a pretty good lead with six minutes left here in the third quarter. As we said earlier, Mickey, that's a lead that I really truly don't believe airline, especially with the way the Catholic High defense is playing tonight, can get through because you'd have to be able to throw the ball very effectively and they never be able to do that just by the way their team is structured. Zach Hendricks brings down Jeffrey Hastings on the far boundary as you see the Bears facing a third down and about five. Austin Worley running the option down into the boundary there and 
was able to pick up a couple of yards. Phil Larimore tells me that quarterback Philip Ray is walking on the sideline and looks like he's going to be okay. He may come back in on defense, putting on his helmet on the sideline. So he's ready. Third down and five. The Bears have a big play coming up. Austin Worley's going to roll out. He throws it up for grabs. Big Easton incomplete. Jeremy Easton covered there by Raphael Rawls. And the Bears have a big decision to make here on fourth down and five. I see Coach Weiner on the sideline. Jesse's finally decided to send the field goal unit out. And I see Philip Ray comes out to do the holding. So he's definitely not out of the ball game. Don't know how full speed he is, but you see he will be 11. doing the holding as Coach Weiner decides to go with the field goal. Here goes Luke Martin. Right, here's 11-point lead Catholic guy has now to give them the ability to get a full two-touchdown head lead. On the kick, Luke Martin. He's got it. Good. Luke Martin puts the Bears up by two touchdowns. The Bears now lead it 24-10. to 10. We'll be right back. And this time he squibs it once again. This time it's going to roll all the way back. Still on his feet is Dawson. Jeffrey Lewis on the tackle. Jeffrey Lewis brings him down finally. But that's why they haven't been kicking it to those guys back there, Justin. They're pretty dangerous. Calvin Dawson averaging 200 yards a game rushing. As the Black Hat defense with 4 minutes 42 seconds left in the third quarter has to come out and do their job once again. Copper Mill Golf Course, as you can see, Zachary, is, it, is this area's finest new golf course experience you'll never forget just 15 minutes outside on Highway 964. Give them a call, 658-0656. Corey Williams brings down the senior running back, Calvin Dawson, for about a three-yard gain. Be second and seven. The Bears 24 to 10. 14-point lead here. Late in the third quarter. I think it's good to see Phillip Ray back at the free safety spot. Running pretty well as well, so it looks like he's doing well. Matt Cotton makes the reception on the hook pattern. John Wilkerson and Jason Arbor down there on the tackle. But a first down for the Vikings, who are now inside Bear territory at the 41-yard line, first and 10. Kind of a funny motion that the quarterback has there for the airline Vikings. That time it was effective. He got the ball out there quickly and picked up a first down. Travis Warren, you got to hand it. He's a heady player. Does a good job running this offense. Well, that's going to give a Catholic High an extra five right there and an extra lick on Travis Warren right there as well. But just a little bit, you got two guys moving in the backfield. That, that referees usually don't like that play. Illegal motion, the Bears have an opportunity as one of the Bear defenders is, is injured down on the field. Looks like it might be Jeffrey Lewis down. The Bears may decline this penalty, Jesse, as they had no yardage. It is declined. The Bears do decline it. And that is Jeffrey Lewis, who looks like he was shaken up. He's walking off under his own power. But the Bears decline the double motion penalty as Steve Kearney checks into the game for the Bears replacing Jeffrey Lewis. So it'll be second down and nine. The Bears decline the penalty there with three minutes 44 seconds left here in the third quarter. Travis Warren's going the whole way a quarterback for the Vikings. He's going to throw the ball this time. He's got a little pressure. Throws it deep. It is it is caught. It is caught inside the 20-yard line, down to the 16-yard line. There is a flag down on the play. It's going to be illegal contact one way or the other. We'll see. Well, oh, what a throw and catch by Travis Warren and number 16, Matt Cotton. Boy, did a great job of putting his hands on the ball, keeping his feet in bounds, and doing a good job. 
Airline, as I've been saying all night, they're not a team that likes to throw the ball, but so far in this drive, Airline doing doing a very good job being very effective with Travis Warren of throwing the ball. First and 10, the Black Hat defense has to come up with a big play right here. Good throw and catch there. Travis Warren is going to hand it. No, he's going to keep it himself. He's going to get down inside the 10, down to about the nine yard line. Picks up about five or six yards. The clock continues to run. Three minutes and 22 seconds. Neil Bro on the tackle there for the Bears. Tell you what, what a ball game. This is really, we thought it from the get-go, and it really is becoming that so far. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Airline coming back to answer. Catholic High and setting the tone in the second half. They're doing a nice job of coming back and answering themselves. Seeing if they can try to get a score here. Catholic High's defense, perfect time to steal the momentum. There's the option. Phillip Ray's got him, pushes him out of bounds. Good play by Phillip Ray as he comes up. He's limping a little bit, you can see. No gain, but he does come up on the pitch man to knock him out of bounds, and John Wilkinson was there to clean him up. Third down and about four. It's a game the old senior Phillip Ray is not going to go out unless he really has to right there. Coming up a little bit injured, but making the play and doing an effective job of not allowing it and putting airline in a key third down situation. This is definitely a four down territory for airline. They can run the option once again. Quarterback keeps it this time. Touchdown, Vikings. Phillip Ray had the pitch. Quarterback made the nice read on the option. And the Vikings pull within eight points with the touchdown run by Travis Warren, the senior quarterback. I tell you what, these, these quarterbacks in this ball game, you're not going to find a better option play by any of these quarterbacks. Phillip Ray, phenomenal. Travis Warren, phenomenal running the offense, and Austin Worley. So I tell you what, very, very good ball teams, very well coached ball teams. That we'll makes, be right back. That score 24 17. The Bears up by seven. We'll be right back. Spectrum Fitness, Phil Aramore's favorite place to go. Service Glass Works, Brewly Wireless, Trishan Associates. Rubacher's Bar and Grill, they've sponsored the crew all year, bringing us good sandwiches. Go see Davis the Sherry for your tailgate needs for LSU game, Catholic High games, and more. On Blue Bonnet, they have several locations in Cirillo's Pizzeria. Thanks again for all those sponsors, and we can't thank them enough. I know we say it a lot, but without their help and support, this, this couldn't be brought to you. Alex Curry. Has it teed up. Jamel Adams is deep. They haven't kicked to him all night long. We'll see what they do right here as Curry this time squibs it along out of bounds. And the Bears will get good field position as they are trying to keep the ball away from Jamel Adams. And the Bears will take over at the 35-yard line, first and 10. And this possession, there's been a lot of big ones in this ball game, but this offensive possession for momentum's sake, is huge for the Catholic High Bear. It really is. It's a perfect time to answer it. Offensively, you got to like being in this situation. You can believe Coach Weiner's got him huddled up over there. He's letting them know of the importance of keeping the momentum, stealing the momentum back from airline, and having a long drive and hopefully a score to put this game more than one touchdown out of reach. Austin Worley is a quarterback. Trey McLean and Dramel Adams in the backfield. Time to get behind the big fellas right here. Jamel Adams going outside, looking for a little running room. He picks up about three yards as Thomas Cavanaugh makes the stop. And this penalty can be nothing good for the Catholic High Bears right here. As we all know, usually those kind of penalties are holding calls. That's what you have. That's going to push Catholic High back. But Austin Worley has done a fine job all night of answering with some pass plays at quarterback. So we're going to be looking for him to pull off some more good pass plays here probably. But Catholic High still is first and 20. They got three plays to try to get 20 yards. 
I would expect a screen play or something like that coming up pretty soon, Mick. First down and 20. Catholic High Bears, Austin Worley has McLean and Tramel Adams in the backfield. Bears are going to throw it. He's got Jason Arbor wide open. He's inside, the, outside the 30 to the 32 or 33 yard line. Tim Riley on the tackle. Good throw, good catch. Pick up about eight or nine of the yards back. Bears will play it maybe second and 12 or 13 as Jeremy Eason checks out of the ball game and Scott Giblin checks back in. Gives the play to Austin Worley and the Bears here playing the second and long in the spin offense formation. Jamel Adams in motion. They're going to throw it. Austin Worley. He's got him deep. It's Giblin. He's got him inside the 40. He's inside the 20. Inside the 10. Down to about the five yard line. What a throw and catch by the Catholic High Bears. Scott Giblin makes the best catch that I've seen this year on the dead stride. Had to concentrate, but Austin Worley put it right on the money and big play for the Catholic High Bear. And I tell you what, what a fine job by Austin Worley of coming back, pulling a play action fake perfectly, putting the ball up nicely, and like you said, Giblin doing a great job of running under the ball and going to get it. And right there, Catholic High's offense, all year we've had the defense answering very often. Catholic High's offense doing a great job and answering the call there. Bear is going to run it right up the gut. Jamel Adams spinning inside, still on his feet, down to about the one. As Jamel Adams breaking tackle after tackle after tackle as big Darren Dakmak is down for the Bears. He's pointing to his right ankle, which I'm not sure which is the one he's had trouble with during the year, but he's pointing to it, and the trainers come out to take a look at him as the Bears have it on the one yard line. And, and I tell you what, we've said it, what a key drive for the Bears offense. And I tell you what, they're doing such a good job of, and that was a quick strike obviously. Austin Worley putting it up in the air and giving them a chance. Doing a nice job there. Mick, we're gonna take a minute to thank a few of our sponsors. Nutra, Sport, Brian Harris Chevy, Calandro Supermarket, Moro Physical Therapy, Moro Family involved with Catholic High for many years. Simon and the Sun, the playoffs. Neil Bro and Jonathan Alvarado are in. The Bears have all the big fellas in there right now. McLean goes in motion. They give it to Wilkson along the right side. Touchdown, Catholic High. Give him six. Catholic High answering the call, putting seven up. Giving us a 14 nothing lead, a 14 point lead, I should say. It's going to bring us into the fourth quarter in about 30 seconds. So, what a great ball game so far. The sprint, extra point coming here as Luke Martin tries to put the Bears out in front by 14 here late in the third quarter. You know, Mickey, that was the old Ryan Jumanville, Tennessee's version of give him six. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> Luke Martin, snap is good, and the kick is good. Bears lead it 31 to 17. You're watching Catholic High playoffs here on the Catholic High Football Network. Good. Sorello's Pizzeria, it's a family. A little bit here, we'll see when they get the ball back. But Neil Bro has it teed up, and this time he will kick it deep and it's going to go out of bounds as both teams have been scared to kick it down the field and I'll tell you what the Bears give an airline the ball to 35 they ain't so bad compared to some of the field position airlines had on these kickoffs so far tonight that's right you know I mean it's a it's amazing I've never seen a game in high school college anywhere that there's so much respect for the deep guy I mean, you know, even LSU playing teams, you know, when they play Louisiana Tech and ULL and all these other teams, I mean, geez, and they still kick it to LSU's great returners. So, Travis respect. Warren 
you're right. Travis Warren's going to have to maybe throw it. No, he's going to keep it on the ground. And when you run the ball like that, why throw it? Adam Leto drags him down right at midfield, but Travis Warren once again eating up big yardage against the Black Hat defense. The clock needs to run. There's 29 seconds left in the third quarter. It's stopped right now for the chains to move, but it will run on the referee sets the ball. 29 seconds left here in the third quarter. A screen in motion. They're going to run the underneath trap. That's Russell that's got it. He is hit hard by a couple of the Bear defenders. Kearney was in there. Wilkinson was in there. Calvin Matthews was in there. The Bears doing a little gang tackling, and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. One more quarter to go here. The Bears leading 31 to 17. You're watching the Catholic High Football Network. It's a beginning of the fourth quarter. The Bears lead it 31 to 17. The airline Vikings trying to mount a comeback in the fourth quarter. They're gonna go to the air. It is complete. Jason Arbor on the tackle. Matt Cotton been the go-to guy all night in the passing game for the Vikings. Travis Warren complete to Matt Cotton for about 12 yards gain in a first down. You know what, Travis Warren doing a nice job there, getting back, taking a hit as he threw it, completing a pass. He's proven me wrong in his passing abilities because he's got a funny motion, I guess, is what leads you to thinking he's probably not going to be a good passer, but airline been effective in the last drive or two, picking up first downs and moving the chains with the pass as well as the run. Quarterback pitches it out to Russell. Russell running hard. He's brought down, but that one's going to come back from motion as the Vikings had a little movement going on in the backfield there, and that'll cost them five yards and more than that because the Play was actually about an eight or nine yard gain. That'll push him back five yards back to a first and 15 situation. And what that's a good good lift for the defense that we needed is to put them in a situation, back them up, back the yardage up. His airline as well. Both offenses have picked the speed back up. Been a great ball game so far. Offenses were doing well early. Defense has stepped it up. Now the offenses have got back on train, and both of these offenses have been doing, been doing a fine job so far. They're going to throw it. It is complete. That's green. He is brought down hard inside the 20-yard line by John Wilkinson, but not before he picks up a first down for the airline Vikings. First and 10. Vikings on the move again on the throw and catch from Travis Warren to Cordado, Cordero, excuse me, Green. Cordero. Cordero, Green, he's been a big factor in this ball game tonight. 11 minutes and 15 seconds left in this ball game. Vikings trailing by two touchdowns. Russell in motion. The handoff is to the right side and it is gonna be touchdown Vikings. Calvin Dawson showing why he has run for over 200 yards again this season, finding his way along the right side and showing a little speed and burst and gets into the end zone and pulls the Vikings in within eight once again. Tell you what, this is the kind of ball game I love to watch. A lot of offense, a lot of offense, a lot of offense. Both of these teams are tearing the field up tonight. A very important extra point here. Kick is up, and it's good. Back to a seven-point game here. The Bears get the ball. When we come back, you're watching the Catholic High Football Network. The 5A playoff race as the Catholic High Bears hanging on to a seven-point lead. Curry will do the kicking. Jamel Adams is deep once again. This time, Curry... Drives it deep, and Dramel Adams is going to get it on the five-yard line. Need Dramel to make a play. He's running hard. He's got a little room. I'll pass the 30 to the 33-yard line. That's why he's dangerous. 
about a 30 yard return there as the Cali High Bears will take over offensively and they need at a minimum Jesse when you're in this situation to pick up some first downs and we've got Cher Vista who's been with us all year I want to thank them for their fine sponsorship. You bet. Skip Cher. I want to be your IT advisor. Give them a call or visit their website at sharevista.com. Austin Worley still in the ball game. They're going to hand it off to Jamel Adams. He's got a little room along the right side looking to cut it up, and he does. Up to about the 38-yard line. Picks up about five yards. Thomas Cavanaugh on the stop for the Vikings. Good first down run there by Jamel Adams. We'll bring up second down. And about four. Oh, what a ball game right there. Line doing a good job of sealing off the end. Jamel Adams coming up, breaking off tackle, picking up a good six yards. And I tell you what, these offenses giving these defenses all they want tonight. Been a lot of yards tallied up on both sides of the ball. This is the kind of ball game you feel like if the Bears can put a touchdown in right here, they might seal this game away. McLean falls forward past the 40 to the 42 yard line. He'll be about a yard short. Jarvell Jenkins on the stop for the Vikings. It'll be third and one, the Bears. You would not think they're in four down territory right here, so they have to get this first down to keep this drive alive, you would think. As Scott Giblin checks into the game and brings the play in to Austin Worley. Big third down here for Catholic High. There's Jamel Adams. He's got the first down. Still on his feet. He's going to get out past midfield into Viking territory at about the 42-yard line. Tim Riley finally dreams him down. But we've seen that all year long, and Jamel Adams turned a what should have been a one or two yard gain into a 12 or 13 yard gain, and the Bears driving the ball once again. I'll tell you what, he's really a phenomenal runner in the sense that he stops and starts as quick as anybody. He keeps those feet rolling, keeps those feet moving, and Jamel Adams, as you mentioned, Mickey, picking up a huge play for Catholic High and putting them in the airline territory. Bears going to need to hurry to get this one off. And they're not going to get it off. Timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout with them. The Bears hanging on to a seven-point lead. We'll be right back. Yard line. Austin Worley has gone primarily the second half as he'll keep it on the quarterback option down inside the 40 to the 38. He'll pick up about five yards. As I was saying, Jesse Austin Worley filling in for Phillip Ray, who had a little ankle injury early in the ballgame, still playing defense, but has not played offense in the second half. And that's and that's part of Kavakai's system all year long. We've commented on it as the year was going along. Austin Worley stepping in and played 100% of the quarterback duties for about three or four games, if not more. But this is something that he's very experienced with doing, of running this offense, especially late in the ball game when you need a drive. Direct pitch to McLean. He's inside the 35, down to about the 34-yard line, maybe. Picks up about three or four yards. Corey Wells on the stop for the Vikings. That'll bring up third down and a long two. Another big third down situation here for the Bear offense. Clock continues to run. Eight minutes and 15 seconds left in this ball game. The Bears leading it by seven. Need a first down right here. I would say, Mickey, this this first down here is, you know, every big play steps up. This is a big play for Catholic High. They're going to give it to Jamel Adams. He's got a little crease on the right side. First down, Catholic High. The big offensive line on the right side, Jesse, gets the surge. Calvin Dawson on the stop, but not before. Jermell Adams picks up the first down, and you can't say enough about the big guys on the right. And how about the Country Club Texaco, Jesse? Tell us about 
what they got going over there in the corner of, Air, of the interstate and Highland Road. They can feed a lot of these big guys on the right. They got a full deli as well as the gas station there. So go see Mr. Dugas, Wayne Dugas at Texaco conveniently located off of I-10 and Highland Road. Bears pick up a big first down as Austin Worley still in at quarterback. He's got Hastings in motion. He's gonna give it to Hastings around the left side. He's got some running room, running hard, still on his feet inside the 20 to the 22 yard line. Russell gave him a nice hit over there, Jesse, the young man who got a lot of colleges looking at him across the country, but Jeffrey Hastings would have no part of it, kept his feet and got another first down for the Catholic High Bears. Tell you what, like I've said before, Catholic High's offense continues to answer everything that Airline's given them. Airline has done a great job offensively of getting the ball and getting the score, but Catholic High's answering with some long drives, going 70 yards a pop. Coach Wanner doing a great job of play calling, mixing it up. A lot of ball, a lot of people are putting their hands on the ball tonight. Catholic High doing a fine job. Awesome World's going to keep it up the middle himself this time. He's inside the 15-yard line, maybe right just inside the 15. Chad Hart on the stop for the Bears. He does pick up about five yards. You know, Austin Worley just doing a fine job coming in here, playing the whole second half and running the offense, throwing it, throwing the ball and running the spin offense as well. And, and I tell you what, right there on that play, I mean, Mickey, it's first down. Really, there was no movement in the backfield whatsoever. That was purely the offensive line just pushing the defense straight back. You know, Austin just really walked straight through the line for five yards. Nothing fancy. The big guys are doing it, and they're getting it done. Jamel Adams underneath, making some nice moves. Inside the 10, still on his feet to about the seven-yard line. Jamel Adams showing why he's one of the premier running backs, leaving people on the ground behind him, trying to bring him down the senior running back who we've seen him do it all year long when it comes down to having to have it Jamel Adams answers the call he's phenomenal he's done a good job all year but an excellent job in these last couple of the series key third downs key first downs there and right there as we've seen as we've said he's in the middle of a pile and for some reason he's most comfortable being in the middle of a pile Trey McLean and Jamel Adams in the eye Bears going to hand it off. Nope. Austin Worley's going to keep it. He's going to pick up maybe one yard. Tom Cavanaugh, the linebacker, on the stop for the Vikings as the Bears hanging on to this seven-point lead, trying to make it a two-score game. You see the clock, five minutes, 25 seconds left. What would you do right here, Jesse? I was about to say, Mickey, what they've done so well is they got the ball with 11 minutes left in this game. What I would do right here is definitely a play action. It's got a lot of got a lot of movement in the backfield. Good time to take it, take a stab at it. Do a little play action with one of the tight ends. We'll see what they do. They got him. Big Jeremy Eason has always been a good target down on the goal line. They run the toss sweep. Jamel Adams got to get to the corner. He's got some speed. Diving in zone. Touchdown Bears. Pure speed, Mickey. You can't coach speed. You cannot coach speed as Dramel Adams races to the pylon as the Bears take a 13-point lead. And I can tell you what, Jesse, with five, four minutes and 53 seconds left, it's going to be real tough for Airline to catch the Bears now. And it's just, just been a heck of a show here tonight. It really has, and I tell you what, you can't coach speed, but as a coach, you can put those guys in good position to be successful. Coach Wanner Coach does a Weiner tremendous job. Trying oh. to pick up two points right there with the trick play. As the Bears, extra point is no good. We'll take a break. Four minutes, 53 seconds left. The Bears lead it 37 to 24. Inside. And the crowd has definitely quieted down here on this side as the Bears seem to be in control of this ball game with 4.53 left. What we need to not have here is a big play and make the Vikings work for anything they get from here on out. That's right. I mean, the 13-point lead, as you, as you know, it would give them time. So a quick big play is not what we want, as you said. 
And that's why I would imagine you're gonna see us kick the old pooch kick, not to get the ball in anybody's hands. Airline actually has placed Calvin Dawson, number 22, in an up position. He's on the, he's in the second line of defense over there. And now you can see Newman turning. He's not kicking it to him. Coach Warner doing a good job making sure it gets away from number 22. Matt Newman has got it. Cordaro Green around the right side. He's still on his feet. Still on his feet. One of the Bears has a chance to get him, and he's not going to get him. No flags on the play. As just as simple as that, this ball game turns around and the Cavalry High Bears now lead by seven with an extra point still to come. That's unbelievable, Mickey. What a fine run by number 30, the effort airline showing you why they're nine and one. Cordaro Green doing an excellent job. I really thought Adam Leto had him. Did a good job of shaking it. We got a ball game, six point ball game late in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back. But one play turns it around and it's been that kind of game. Now the Bears, that extra point is big now that the Bears missed because now it is 37-31. Bears, the Bears lining up in some type of hands formation. Hands formation. I wouldn't think that airline would try an onside kick here, but you never know. Alex Curry gets the signal from the referee and he's gonna kick it. And he sky kicks it. Somebody better get on this ball. Fumbled. The Bears luckily recover it as Dramel Adams Ooh, gets man. on the ball. Mickey, that was as close as you could be of giving Airline the ball on a 15-yard line as you can possibly get. Tell you what, special teams, both of these teams obviously very good at special teams right there. Airline getting what they want, but the gods of Catholic High turn the ball a little bit away to give them the ball. Henry C. Erie, engineering firm, give them a call. Give them a call during the best time in Catholic High's history. Here's where the offense got to answer this call. Austin Worley gives it to Hastings around the left side. He's got a little running room out past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Picks up about five yards on first down. Corey Wells on the tackle. Be second down and four. The Bears need about three first downs here to run this clock out. The Vikings do have all three timeouts left, Jesse. A couple of first downs would be huge here for Catholic High. I tell you what, get first downs and hold on to the football is what we've got to do. Catholic High have been very good all year and not turn the ball over. Right now, we want to make sure we hold the ball and just get the clock. Toss sweep, Jermell Adams, he's got the corner. Cuts it up the field, out past the 25 to the 33 yard line. Flag down late. Might have been a face mask Possible there, we're looking. Mask. This is gonna be a big call right here. Personal foul Woo. against the Bears. I didn't see any, I didn't see anything there. All I saw where the flag was was Jamel Adams running over about two or three guys. That that's, is not the call. That's a big call by the referees right there as the Bears will have the first down brought back. Be second down and seven. Three minutes, 35 seconds and running. The Bears had the first down. Now we'll have to play at second and seven. Pretty exciting football game here. Boy, isn't this great? Three minutes, 25 seconds left. As we said, we just got to get two first downs from this point on. It's gonna answer this. That's Hastings, he's got some running room on the right side. He's got the first down. 
out past the 30 to the 32 yard line. First down, Catholic High. Airline takes a timeout. They're gonna try to stop the clock. Well, we'll take a break. When we come back, the Bears need to run out these last three minutes. You're watching Catholic High Football Network. He's been the quarterback the whole second half as the Bears, I would think, need two more first downs to put this ball game away. I think you're right. And I tell you what, the best thing about it is we have not punted yet today because of the ability to make this offense move with Austin Worley. Austin Worley. Brought down by Jeremy Tate. Another timeout taken by the airline Vikings as they are trying to preserve the clock. Three minutes and one second remain. Let's talk about some of the people that have brought you Catholic High football all year long, Jesse. We couldn't do it without them. Tell us about some of them. To name a few, Bernhard Brothers Peak Performance. Physical therapy, Jerry Lane Enterprises. Trots back onto the field. We need about two first downs to put this ball game away. Austin Worley in the backfield. They're gonna give it to Hastings around the left side. He's got some running room. He's got the first down inside, just inside the 45 yard line. And I didn't see who threw that block, Jesse, but somebody. I can tell you who it was. It was Scott Giblin that totally obliterated number two for airline busted him up about as good as you can do number two Chad Hart for airline got blown up he came off the corner Scott Giblin stepped up knocked him off his feet and released